The Taliban in Saudi Arabia are coming of age, the architects of the future of the kingdom, skipping from the mundane to the academic to the ethereal spaces in life without missing a beat. Talib is the Arabic word for student or seeker of knowledge. It comes from the linguistic root for the verb talaba, meaning to look, wish, or claim. The word for a single female student is taliba. Plural is talibat. In fall 2010, I went to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, as a Boren Fellow and ethnographer to observe the talibat, to learn about everyday life on the campus of a women's university. Everyday life is history in the making, moment by moment, unscripted, unedited, lived, real moments. Every student has her own story to tell, a personal history that she lives in minutes and hours and days. Drivers drop them off at the mouth of campus, where the tall white walls part and they enter. The electronic thumbprint scanner accepts their print, and their bodies are recorded as present. Once inside the gates, they are free to decide wherever they want to go from among the little village of whitewashed buildings and open spaces that comprise the campus. Most choose to begin their day at the cafe. They walk around the perimeter of the campus's central square called the Red Spot because of the deep crimson bricks that pave it. They stroll along in lively little crowds under the portico, sipping coffee, avoiding the clear, hot morning sun that already reaches into the upper 90s and drenches the Red Spot in heat. When the Taliban arrive, the campus comes to life. I watched it day after day, inhaling, exhaling, from sleeping to waking. Classes begin at 8 a.m. and crowds scatter. Fragments of Arabic and English fill the air. Yalla, visura habibi, come on, hurry up. Talibat with lattes and frappuccinos in hand walk briskly down the hallways and up the stairs. Black abayas billowing in the breeze of their strides behind them like gentle black streams. They slip out of sight into classrooms. This is a connected place, a wired nerve center. The heart of the university pulses through the talibat, through their footsteps and fingertips. Everyday life is the stuff of now and of history, the contradiction of being and becoming, knowing and learning simultaneously. The talibat are virtuosos of the moment. I watched and listened as they spoke it, performed it, I tried to follow. I observed, and I wrote, and wrote, and wrote. And I felt the overwhelming burden of referring to a complex individual with a single word, the weight of choosing a term, a label, or category to even attempt to convey the vastness and complexity, as well as the personal uniqueness and elegant simplicity of the young women who allowed me to learn a little about their everyday lives. I chose Talibat, a word that describes them as they are, women and students, looking, wishing, and claiming every moment as their own.